curious to hear uh, how has it been for you, you know, over the past two years since you kind of chopped off the beard and you know changed the hair. How have people perceived you differently? Uh, the past few years? Well, it's been interesting. It's been like different from a lot of different people, you know. Yeah. And uh, it's interesting to see how, um, like, you know, I, I always knew that. Um, there was an image that I was tied to, but you know, you don't realize until you like move away from that image how connected people are to that. And you know, the majority of my fans that really connect with the music who are you sort of weed out who the real kind of fans are because the people that are there for the music are connecting with the music and then regardless. And the people that were there because they thought a beard was cool or they thought it represented them in a way that they could make them feel proud about or whatever it was they kind of, you know, were upset or didn't understand, but, you know, you can't, you can't really make everyone happy. Do you find it harder or easier to kind of market yourself and your brand and your music now? I think it's just kind of like a little bit of a mind screw to people, like, right. how could, how could, some, how could you be, like, someone who was so connected to an image and lose that image? Like, you never hear of that. You'll never see, like, Pe like Pepsi will never just change the color to, like, green, you know, it's blue right. and red or whatever, you know, I mean, it's unheard of to do that, so... I mean, I think it's cool because it's a testament to the fact that my life is my life and my music is, is real to me and the whole mar you know, marketing, how it'll come off to other people, it's always been irrelevant to me. How has it been kind of like the evolution of South By as you've evolved and how you've experienced it differently over the years? Well, the truth is we were here only one time and it was right after I started. I mean, literally I had gotten married gotten an agent, bought a van, like left on tour, came down here, recorded live and stuff, so we came back for South By, and we were a new band that was just starting out, that was just kind of like, people were hearing about us, but there was a really great buzz going on, and it was exciting, and then we pretty much stayed away because we didn't really have any need to be here, but I kind of really wanted to come back and do this check-in this year, with the new record and everything. Hey, tell me about that new album. New records called Acadia will be out this spring. Um, uh, what can I say? It's uh, it's it's an evolved style, but uh, a lot more stripped back than my last record. And a lot of people will really appreciate it. And then, what do you have on tap after the album? Yeah, I'm doing some shows. Um, I'm actually going out to Germany. I wrote a song with a German sort of wow. pop singer, and I'm going to sing in arenas with him for a couple of weeks. Um, and then uh, we got this record coming out, promoting the record, playing shows. You know, it's all about these new songs, and I'm really excited to share with people. So, is, is there kind of an element of reconciliation there with like the kind of German and Jewish connection? I just think it's ironic. You know, it's like. At one time, we we played a show pretty early on when I was in my full Hasidic look, and it was a reggae festival, and there was all these German kids, you know, dancing and singing along to Jerusalem while I was singing. And I just had this vision of like Hitler, like rolling in his grave, like this is what it came to, you know. And so yeah, no, I I always think it's cool to be able to bridge culture, religion, you know, different people, different parts of the world. Music is such a cool tool for that, so it's a blessing that I, can, I get to do that. And do, I mean, do you think internally, in terms of your faith, I mean, have you changed, uh, or is it the same inside, is it different? No, I've changed. I've always sort of let my inside and my be kind of transparent to the outside. So when I was really into exploring the Hasidic thing, and I got into that, I've always done that. Um, I think that uh, things have evolved for me, they've changed, they've grown, they've deepened and um, just kind of morphed into a, you know, a different thing. But uh, I'm always feeling very, very connected um, to the whole Hasidic thing, certainly the Jewish thing.